Hi. In this video, we are going to go ahead and discuss what should be your microeconomic strategy, especially when there are just two months left for all the important exams like ISI, DSC, etc. So let's go ahead and see how we would be going ahead and planning this course revision for microeconomics. Now, the first thing that you should be focusing on should be the consumer theory. So from 5th of March to 12th of March, we'll go ahead and cover all the questions relevant to consumer theory. In particular, I would be doing important and difficult questions like questions on Marshallian demand curve. What are the properties of Marshallian demand curve? Questions on Hicksian demand curve. What is Shepard's lemma? What are the equilibrium condition for non-convex preferences? How do you find non-convex preferences? What are the questions on income and substitution effect? In particularly, we would be going ahead and doing few questions on income and substitution effect for Giffen goods because that is what can come in exam. Then post this from 14th of March to 21st of March, we will go towards two very, very important topics. One of which is uncertainty and index numbers and the other of which is intertemporal choices. There is going to be a sure short question that is going to come on risk and that is going to come on intertemporal choice. You must know how to go ahead and formulate budget lines for intertemporal choice you must know how to find equilibrium condition for intertemporal choice you must know how to work with implicit utility function for intertemporal choice so we would be covering questions on these topics then we would go ahead and start from 22nd of March to 31st of March and we would go ahead and do questions on general equilibrium. We would revise as many questions as possible. So, you know, within my Edgeworth box, what happens when you have both as convex preferences? One as substitute good and convex preferences, both as concave preferences. What happens when you have complementary goods and concave preferences. We would be taking all such examples under the general equilibrium numericals. We would also be focusing on first and second welfare theorem and we would focus on how this welfare theorem acts under the case of monopoly. Then from 1st of April to 10th of April, we would be covering three important topics technology, which is nothing but the production function, cost. So here we would be talking about the different cost functions and cost curves and profit. Again, we will cover a lot of numericals and we will also look at the duality problem. We'll take some questions related to duality problem, some questions related to finding the cost function, some questions related to finding the production function, questions related to Shepard's lemma, we would be covering all of that. Then, from 11th of April to 16th of April, we should go ahead and do perfect competition. What is the shutdown point? How to find the shutdown point? How to profit? How to do profit maximization? How to compare deadweight loss under perfect competition with monopoly? What are the different conditions of monopoly? How do you maximize profit under monopoly? What are the different price discriminations possible under monopoly? We'll do few questions on game theory. In particularly, I'm expecting a question on sequential game or I'm expecting a question on continuous games. So we'll try and see such questions and we'll talk about oligopoly. So we'll do one numerical each on Stackelberg, on Bertrand, 
with different marginal costs very important and on kurnot finally from 17th of april to 21st of april we should be going ahead and focusing on three important topics public goods externalities and asymmetric information in particularly we'll do a numerical on signaling we'll do a numerical on externality on finding pigovian tax and we'll also talk about few of the ways to go ahead and solve the problem of public goods followed by this finally we'll have three mock test for complete microeconomics one on 24th of april second on 27th of april and third on 30th of april this would be a full fledged microeconomics 100 marks paper in which we would be going ahead and covering all these six different modules so this is the plan that you should go ahead and follow for microeconomics specifically for entrance exams like isi dsc etc in all these modules that we cover we will go ahead and do all the past year questions also of isi dsc jnu jamia etc okay thank you